Uh, problem 31, chapter 5. This is another important um, problem in the chapter in uh, parametric motion. Uh, look at this mechanism. We have a rotating bar, OA, with the length of B, which is rotating counterclockwise with the angular velocity of omega. Uh, the other bar is connected to this one through this color. So when this bar is rotating, when OA is rotating, point A is going to rotate and it's going to drag this color along itself. And because this bar is going through the color, it's going to start to rotate as well, right? So the distance between A and B during this motion is going to change. It's not constant. And uh, the question is, what is the angular velocity of BC? So BC is rotating, right? If I call this angle theta, then the angular velocity of BC is theta dot. So if I find theta dot, then uh, that's going to be that's going to be the angular velocity of BC. I would suggest to spend at least 10 minutes to 15 minutes on this one. Uh, it's not it's not quite easy. So it, it deserves to spend like 10 minutes, 15 minutes to think about it. So please pause uh, this video and come back in 10 minutes. I assume you did that. So um, how we can approach this problem? We need to find a relationship between this angle if I call it beta, for example, and um, theta. How can I relate beta to theta? If I do that by taking derivative from that equation, I'm going to be able to connect or to relate B beta dot or omega to theta dot, right? So keep in mind, if I call this angle beta, then the angle of velocity of OA is going to be beta dot or omega. They are the same thing. So beta dot is omega. <clears throat> um, there are different ways to do this, but probably the first or the most organic way, uh, thing comes to mind is using law of sine. So uh, if I use law of sine, sine of beta divided by AB is equal to sine of beta, uh, sorry, sine of theta divided by OA, which is B. Then if I take a derivative of this, I'm going to find a relationship between beta dot and theta dot, which I, I'm looking for it, right? But the problem of this is AB is not constant. So length of AB is going to change. By changing beta, AB is changing too. So when I'm taking derivative of this equation, I'm going to have beta dot and also AB dot as well. So it's not, it's not straightforward to use this. What we can do, again, there are several ways to do it, but maybe a good idea is using this angle. Let's call this angle gamma. So based on law of sines, sine, these are going to be equal to sine of gamma to this length, which is 2b, right? Now, if you look at this, there is a relationship between theta and gamma, but I would like to relate beta to theta. Right, because I know beta dot, it is omega. I want to find theta dot in terms of omega, right? So what should I do that? Uh, what should I do here? Uh, there is a relationship between all of these angles. They are angles of a triangle, right? So I can say beta plus gamma plus theta is equal to 180 degree, or gamma is equal to pi minus theta minus um, beta. Now, if I replace gamma with that here, then 
I'm gonna I'm gonna relate theta to beta, right? So just replace uh, gamma with this in this equation, just in this part of it. Sine of theta divided by b is equal to sine of pi minus theta minus beta divided by 2b. Now it's, uh, it's quite easy to take a derivative from this equation because we have constants b here. They're gonna actually even cancel out with, with each other. And here, uh, let's do that actually. Um, derivative of sine of theta is theta dot cosine of theta is equal to derivative of this part is going to be the derivative of inside of that sign which is going to be negative theta dot negative beta dot so negative theta dot plus beta dot times derivative uh derivative of sine which is cosine so cosine of pi minus theta minus beta okay now I can replace theta uh, beta dot with omega. So if you replace beta dot with omega, then, and also you can bring all the theta dots to this side of the equation. So I'm gonna have theta dot times cosine of theta uh, plus cosine of pi minus theta minus beta I'm just bringing the theta dot to the other side of the equation it is equal to negative beta dot which is omega which is a given number times cosine of pi minus theta minus beta okay omega is given and theta is given so we know what your theta omega is given as well um, and uh, if I find beta here, then I'm gonna be able to find theta dot, right? So everything in, is known here, except theta dot, which we are looking for it, and also beta. How can I find beta? Again, if you look at this equation, uh, or maybe this equation, um, mm, yeah, if you look at this equation, uh, theta is known, is given, 20 degree. So if you plug it uh, in this equation, you're going to be able to find gamma. After finding gamma, then you can find, if you put it in this equation, because we know what is gamma now, and we know what is theta, you're going to be able to find beta. So we can find beta from there. So after finding beta and using theta is equal to 20 degree and replacing omega with with radiant per second, you're gonna be able to find theta dot. And theta dot is omega bc, angular velocity of bc. So omega bc is gonna be negative omega times cosine of pi minus theta minus beta divided by all of this. I'll let you do those math, uh, which is quite easy. The, the final answer is going to be 1.903 radian per second. And because we are using theta dot, theta dot is in, counter, uh, is in clockwise direction. So the direction of this angular velocity is going to be clockwise.